Hi from Milan. Milan, a metropolis in Italy's northern Lombardy region, is a global capital of fashion and design, home to the National Stock Exchange. It's a financial hub also known for its high-end restaurants and shops, the Gothic Duomo di Milano Cathedral, and the Santa Maria della Grazia convent, housing Leonardo da Vinci's mural, The Last Supper testify to centuries of art and culture. Fashion, baby, fashion. This is Milano, the capital of fashion of the world. You see a lot of people here dressed to kill, dressed to impress, but never dressed for less. Galleria Vittorio Emanuel II. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuel II. It's the oldest active shopping gallery in the major landmark of Milan, housed within a four-story double arcade in the center of town. The Galleria is named after Victor Emmanuel II, the first kingdom of the Kingdom of Italy. It was designed in 1861 and built by architect Giuseppe Mangoni between 1865 and 1877. It's a busy, busy area in Milano. It's beautiful. You find all kind of people here. Milano has a population of about 1.4 million, while its metropolitan city has 3.26 million inhabitants. the scene people drink on the streets in Italy. I never saw this in my life. Milano's nightlife. Whether you are a student, professional or a freelancer, young or old, in Milan there is something for everyone. You will find that this city offers every night entertainment option possible. From an aperitivo in an elegant cocktail bar to a techno rave that goes on until sunrise. I guess because the clubs are so tiny and small inside. I mean you go to Red Cafe it's like, like small inside. Let's go from here. Milan Public Transportation Italy's fashion capital has an easy-to-use, well-integrated public transportation system covering four metro lines, trams, buses, taxis, scooters, bikes, and the list go on. All this to make your life easier and navigating the city in a very nice way. Lots of see-through. Is this a beep because of me? I have to put my belt on or? Milan is considered a leading alpha global city with trends in fields of art, chemicals, commerce, design, education, entertainment, fashion, finance, healthcare, media, services, research and tourism. Its business district hosts Italy's stock exchange and the headquarters of national and international banks and companies. Very busy on a Saturday in Milano. It's beautiful. Beautiful people, beautiful city, nice architecture, wide streets. Milan has been recognized as one of the world's four fashion capitals thanks to several international events and fairs, including Milan Fashion Week and the Milan Furniture Fair, which are among the world's biggest in terms of revenue, visitors and growth. 
Milan Cathedral. Milan Cathedral. It took nearly six centuries to complete. Construction began in 1386 and the final details were completed in 1965. It is the largest church in the Italian Republic. The larger St. Peter's Basilica is in the state of Vatican City, a sovereign state and one of the largest in the world. Another busy day, it's Sunday, and this is the Duomo of Milano. And a lot of uh, Arab guys here. It's like a bus of Arab guys showed up from, uh, I think, Egypt, Algeria, or Tunisia. <coughs> Milano's weather. Milan features a mid-latitude four-season humid subtropical climate according to the Köppen climate classification. Milan's climate is similar to much of northern Italy's inland plains with hot humid summers and cold foggy winters. Asked me to dance with them, I said no, no way. She wanted me to dance the Macarena with them. Come on, come on. We can barely hear the Macarena dance. The famous Leonardo da Vinci. As far as Milanese experiences go, strolling through the Galleria which runs between La Scala and the Duomo, is a must. Find the worn spot in the mosaic floor where Italians spin around for good luck. Visit prominent Italian designer stores. Have a pastry and an espresso at Pasticceria Marchesi above Prada. An aperitivo at Camparino or a lavish meal at Craco and simply soak it in. Milano is a shopper's paradise, offering every kind of experience from high-end luxury shops and boutiques to unique vintage and thrifted finds. Budget-conscious shoppers should consider visiting this city during the winter months of January and February or from July to September when the soldi, the twice yearly sales, held all across Italy take place. Milan's position in Western Lombardy puts it within easy reach of several rewarding day trip destinations. The Alps are so close that you can see them from the roof of the Duomo. Lake Como is less than an hour by train and there are several towns near Milan with magnificent churches and cathedrals.
so many tramways. And there's a subway and buses, <laughs> taxis and police here. Milano. Parco Bibliotica degli Alberi. Parco Bibliotica degli Alberi was conceived in 2003 as a new genre of public park. Not only does it contain a rich library of plant life, hence the name, with other 135,000 plants that include 100 different species and 500 trees, its layout is entirely unique. It features a geometric design of interlacing paths, irregularly shaped fields and clusters of circular forests that form green rooms, areas for play, contemplation and events. Beautiful building, oh my god, beautiful architecture. And now we're talking Milano. This video is dedicated to my dad, he loves birds. Actually this building reminds me of Torre Akbar in Barcelona. The same shape, same architecture. Copyright, copyright. This is so beautiful. Look at this cool metro station, Republica. stations. The metro in Milano is big. I hope you enjoyed my Milano video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the bell button. Thank you for watching.